Did you know that the high-speed internet you're using to watch this video might be traveling through cables deep under the sea? That's right. Beneath the vast oceans lies a network more intricate and essential than the busiest highways on land. Welcome back to our channel, where today we're diving into the hidden world of undersea cables. These are not just any cables. They span over 850,000 miles across the ocean floor, connecting continents and powering remote islands. They're the backbone of our global communication and power supply, yet they remain out of sight and mind for most of us. Imagine a complex web of cables lying in the deep, dark depths of the ocean, powering the very screen you're watching this on. From the wind-swept Aran Islands off Ireland's coast to the high-tech vessels crisscrossing the seas, we're about to explore how this incredible underwater network is laid, maintained, and repaired. It's a tale of human determination technological innovation, and a constant battle against the forces of nature, you're about to discover the unseen but crucial lifelines that keep our world connected and powered. It's an adventure into the depths of the ocean and the cutting edge of technology, and it all starts now. But have you ever wondered how these cables, both for communication and power, are laid, maintained, and repaired in the deep sea? It's a task that combines cutting-edge technology with extreme human endeavor. Let's explore this extraordinary process. We start our journey off the west coast of Ireland, at the Aran Islands. In 2016, a critical sub-sea cable here ruptured, cutting off all power to the islands. ESB International, a repair company, was called in for a high-stakes mission. The challenge? To fix the cable without removing the 500 megawatt connectors from the water. The solution was as ingenious as it was complex. Divers were sent to the ocean floor operating in a special habitat repair unit. This unit, the result of years of training and preparation, was lowered around the cable. The water was pumped out, creating a dry environment for the divers to work in, right at the ocean's bottom. Installation of these cables is another marvel of engineering. Companies like Boscalis Subsea have designed ships specifically for this task. Picture this, a ship with a flat hull, capable of operating near shores and in the deep sea. It carries a rotating cabling turntable that holds 5,000 tons of cable. As the ship moves, the cable is laid at a precise speed to avoid any damage. The route is carefully plotted to dodge natural obstacles, ensuring the cable's safety. When the cable reaches its destination, it's pulled up to the surface and connected to the land-based infrastructure. But how do they protect these cables in shallow, sandy waters? The answer, a mobile plow that buries the cable as it's pulled ashore. These cables are not just crucial for communication. They play a vital role in renewable energy. They connect offshore wind farms, which are becoming increasingly popular, to the mainland. These farms, positioned in the ocean where the wind is stronger, can generate massive amounts of power. But transferring this energy requires highly advanced and durable subsea cables. Speaking of durability, these cables need to withstand harsh oceanic conditions. They are wrapped in multiple protective coatings, insulated to extend their lifespan. This is crucial, as repairing them can be a challenging and costly affair, especially at great depths. For deep sea repairs, specialized teams known as saturation divers are called in. These divers live in pressurized chambers for weeks, adapting their bodies to extreme depths. They then dive in pressurized bales to the repair site, working in ships to fix the issue. But it's not just cables that face the wrath of the ocean. Marine structures, ships, and even windmill platforms are constantly battling corrosion and organic buildup. This is where teams of marine contractors and divers come in, performing emergency repairs and maintenance. One fascinating aspect of this maintenance is underwater propeller polishing. Large ship propellers, sometimes up to 25 feet in diameter, are polished by divers using water-safe grinders. This not only enhances the ship's performance but also needs to be done regularly to combat the relentless oceanic conditions. As we've seen, the ocean is a formidable foe for man-made structures. From the vast networks of cables to the ships and platforms we rely on, keeping them operational is a never-ending battle against corrosion and the elements. That's it for this video. If you found this dive into the world of subsea cables and underwater technology as fascinating as we did, make sure to hit that subscribe button. We've got plenty more content exploring the marvels of engineering and the challenges of the deep sea. Don't miss out, subscribe now.
and join us next time for another exciting adventure. Thank you for watching.